Hello, welcome to module 17 of setting up a journal in OGS 3.3, Custom Blocks Plugin. We covered content blocks initially in module 9, unit 1, website appearance, and talked specifically about the information content block in module 9, unit 2. Content blocks are content elements that appear in the site navigation menu on your website. OJS 3.3 comes equipped with several different sidebar content blocks, but you can create custom blocks if you need them by using the custom block plugin. To activate this plugin, log into the dashboard using the link in the top right corner of your journal's homepage. In the left hand navigation bar, let's go to the website settings. Now, let's click on the plugins tab. We can use the search button or scroll down up to the custom block manager. To activate this plugin, tick on the box. We can click on the expansion arrow to expose the manage custom blocks link. Clicking on it will open a pop-up window that lists all the custom blocks created in your journal. To add a new block, click on the add block button. Give the block a name, and input the content. You can also tick on the show name box if you want to show the name of the block above the content. When you're satisfied with your changes, click on save. Now we can see that the custom block that we created is listed in the plugin. Let's shut this window and go to the appearance settings. In the appearance settings, we'll visit the setup tab. Scrolling to the bottom of the page, we will get to the sidebar section. Here we can see that the custom block that we created now appears as one of the options of the sidebar content. To make it visible in the sidebar, let's tick on the box. We can also drag it and drop it to reorder the sidebar. When we're happy with the changes, we can save. Now, let's take a look at our homepage. Our custom block is now in the sidebar, ready to be used by our readers. This concludes our overview of the custom blocks plugin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next module.